Hi, my name's Jake, and this is my behind the scenes video for the Emmanuel Esteban shoot. Really good shoot today, yeah, really good. Um, everything went, went really well, perfect really in the end, uh, which, which, which is great. It can always be a, quite, quite a lot of pressure when you've got lots of, like, you know, quite a few people involved and everything like that, but everything, everything went really smoothly. Everybody got on as well as a team, which is, which is always good. Um, and uh, you know, the, in, in terms of the actual job as well, the brief was 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 perfect as well. The client, uh, Emmanuel Esteban, he, uh, he's really sort of really, really chilled out. I've been a follower of his work for a while. He's um, a French hairstylist and entered loads of competitions, and he's done some cool things in the past with avant-garde hair, with like suits of armor and stuff. So he's definitely up for trying trying new ideas and that sort of thing. But. He had, um, he'd seen some of my work on uh, like some of the gel lighting stuff that I'd done previously, and he wanted something like that, something different. He was going to enter into this competition for 2014, um, and he wanted wanted to use my sort of style of lighting, which is which is perfect. Uh, the brief from Emmanuel, which was obviously set out from the competition that he's entering, uh, they've got guidelines, uh, pretty much. Like I mentioned earlier, he'd seen he'd seen my work, the gel lighting and that sort of thing, uh, and he really liked it. But the brief this time around it had to be really commercial. So, like I mentioned, he's done loads of that avant-garde stuff before. This one was going to be commercial, so the lighting had to be quite clean and crisp. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously there was a lot of lights uh, involved on the day, um, but you know, that's that's how I like to work and just get a feel for it really, um, and uh, it's sort of. Colours and that sort of thing. You, you can't really. It's difficult to gauge until until like the model gets there and the and the stylist gets there with the clothes and that sort of, and that sort of thing. You can't really get too too specific on how it's going to look um, with with the different colours that, that I used. And I think you do just do just need to be a little bit flexible. And... The shoot itself, yeah, went really well, really well. Um, and I think that. I think that sort of comes across when everybody seems really willing and really sort of uh, really keen to sort of jump in with their own ideas, um, which, which is nice. Sometimes people can can sort of like sit back and they just let you get on with it, you know. And I'm more more than happy to do that. But um, and there's some 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 photographers like don't want anybody anybody's input. They make everybody sit outside. But yeah, and no, I think it's great. So like the stylist brought in loads of different outfits with regards to um, textured leather and that sort of thing. It was really nice. Picked up on lots of the coloured lighting, that was really nice. Um, and yeah, she, like, she was happy just to jump in and go, how about moving the jacket like this and having it out there. And um, the makeup artist as well was always like, jumping in and she had lots of different ideas that she wanted to try as well. So whilst we were shooting, uh, once everything was set up and everybody knew what they were doing and that sort of thing, it's great to use uh, the iPad where everybody can see the shots as they're coming in. It's something that I've been doing for a while. Uh, and it really, really helps everybody get involved, and it also means that everybody is a lot, a lot more, I suppose, reassured that they're getting the shots, and that's when everybody gets excited. So they can see exactly what the camera's seeing, so if there's any stray hairs or anything like that, and they can jump in and you know adjust those. Sometimes they might not be able to see that if they're just off at, at a different angle. Um, so yeah, the iPad really helps. It, basically, what, what happens is there's a, there's a card that sends the images straight to the iPad, and then they're just viewing it as, as they happen. So yeah, it's definitely something that that I love using. Once Emmanuel was happy that we had the shots for the competition, he was happy for us to um, try some different ideas. And uh, I know the makeup artist had some cool face lace stuff. It's like this sort of like vinyl that you stick over the eyes. It looked look really cool. And I, I wanted to try out, uh, I do some, some shots with the tilt shift lens, uh, which creates that sort of blurring around the edge. And it was just a great opportunity just to, just to play a bit really. And it was nice that everybody was up for that as well. Um, so yeah, I, I think they turned out really, really well as well. So I can't wait to see those. So what's gonna happen now is uh, we've got a lot of images, which is great. And I'm gonna take those away tonight and I'll probably go through them. I don't, not, I don't tend to like to go through them the same night. I tend to leave it leave it a day or so, otherwise you get can get a bit biased. You think, oh yeah, remember that, when that happened and that sort of thing. So I tend to leave it a night. But, um, but yeah, so I'll probably go through all those tomorrow and choose um, choose the best ones to send over to Emmanuel. So you probably get about 50 or 100 for him to go through. And then he'll choose the ones that need to be worked on to go off to the competition. And then, yeah, and then I'll spend 
I'll spend the small hours of the uh, morning working on those on Photoshop, and, that, and really, that's you know, I do I do love that bit because you know all the, all the images look great now in, in camera. That's where I sort of do like to see them. That's when they really shine, and like, you know, that's when you get the buzz when they're, when they're looking fantastic. So yeah, and then we get them sent off for the competition. Well, thanks for watching, um, and hopefully we'll do some more of these behind the scenes videos soon. So if, if you like them, by all means, head on over. Our, Subscribe, head on over to my Facebook page. We've got a nice little community of followers on there. I mean, I sort of release tips and techniques every Tuesday on there, which is nice. Everybody gets involved, which is excellent. Um, if you want to see some more of my advanced stuff, then you can head on over to my uh, over to my website, JK Photography, and there'll be some advanced lighting techniques and um, blog on there, which is, which is good, and some of my latest work. Um, but yeah, thanks so much indeed for watching. And a big thanks to the team today, and especially thanks to Jeff for getting, uh, hopefully getting some uh, shots of me looking professional, not just um, shooting behind the scenes of me uh, making mistakes, that'd be handy. But uh, yeah, hopefully see you again soon. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, talk about the brief, talk about the brief, talk about the brief, yeah. I presume that still records when it's, uh, when it's on, in my, in my pocket like that, soon find out. Do it. Um, just have some have some gels back here, maybe, mate. I don't know. Get some get some different different, you know. Yeah, maybe a tilt shift lens on there, or something like that. It's just 40 million hand clicks later, David's like, "What? I'm gonna do with that?" Take it. Right. Get these thumb clicks, man. Honestly, they're gonna save your life. Recording. It's gonna be so easy now. It's so easy. Be like Jake, you're a miracle worker. <sighs> no, no hair and makeup for me. Nothing. Just just straight straight in. Brilliant. Brilliant. I don't know why I do that, I don't know whether I trust you not, but that is no. Uh, Jacques looking sexy. Um, oh mate, it just fucking snotted on me. It's not good. <laughs> I love that bit as well, just because that's, that's when you really get to make the images shine and um, apply my secret uh, secret sauce to those and there, uh, yeah, and then get them. <laughs> Just, just, just one more, you think? You don't. I, I don't know. You don't, think, you don't think my secret source is what people want to hear? That's fine, okay. Yes. Just giving you gold there. I'm not a cordon, so don't worry about it. It's not like... So I said, but... Sweet memories. This must be getting cold by now. <laughs>